what's going on you guys? Justin aka Boomer Beer League from Hockey Reviews and uh, I've been actually getting this question a lot over the last little while and I've got a couple DMs and a couple guys actually in person have asked me this that I've met at a couple rinks and actually watched my videos so uh, thanks for recognizing me, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to see this video be overzealous because uh, it's not meant to be that um, but at the end of the day I'm just going to give you guys my take and how I do it. So to give you guys an idea, in my personal opinion, beer league bum hockey, being a warrior for the weekend is not getting you in shape. We don't play hockey to get in shape. It's really that simple. Um, if you want to be a decent beer leaguer, and of course we're not chasing the chow here, you know, we're just trying to get uh, healthy. You know, I'm 38. There's a lot of guys that play beer league hockey. They're older. You want to stay in shape. So the end of the day, this is my review of the things I do for fitness. It's a little bit different right now because where I live, of course, gyms are closed. Again, it's frustrating as hell. So at home, I've been doing a little bit of weights and things like that, and uh, a lot of my home programs, which I've done for years and years and years. So that's kind of what I'm going to get into. Please don't think this is super pretentious. This is just the programs I recommend, the easy ones to do during COVID because, of course, we're all stuck at home or working from home most of the time, and you should have lots of time to do so. So stick around. I'm going to go over all the programs I do over the years, how I like them, and just some recommendations for you guys. Hang tight. Before I get started guys, I just want you to understand that this video won't be for everybody. Not everybody's into fitness, not everybody's into training and working out. It's just something I've done over the years and it's become a big part of my life, especially with the rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis. So for me, I've gotten a lot of DMs, a lot of questions, and even cooler, a couple guys uh, said they watched my video when I joined a pickup game and they recognized me and just asked me what I did for training and stuff like that. So I thought it was pretty cool and I love that in just my own hometown uh, I've been noticed and it's starting to come to what I want it to be. So I really appreciate all the support guys. And uh, what I'd like to know is in the comments below with the New Year's, what are you guys doing for fitness? Are you doing anything to stay in shape? Starting any new programs? Do you have any goals? Definitely put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And if you have any other program recommendations or something that you do, I'd love to hear it because I'm always open for new fitness, training, that type of stuff. It can be on ice, off ice, anything that you guys can come up with. I'm super interested in hearing it and would love to check it out. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's be honest. As beer leaguers, we don't do a lot of off ice training. And when you talk about off ice training, most people think about like, the tiles that kind of act like ice and that type of stuff. That's all great, that's skill training. For me, it's actually about like fitness and strength to improve those skills. It's really great if you can stick handle, but if a guy knocks your stick out of your hand, it's not really gonna matter. So one of the first things that I committed to a while ago was improving my grip strength, and I'm gonna show you the product I use and why I love it. It's called Grip XT, and I'll post a little picture of it where I found it, it was on Facebook. And it's definitely awesome for grip training. And it's one of the reasons that I feel like my shot, especially my snapshot, and wrist are so good. And of course my wrists are strong, even with rheumatoid arthritis. So it's actually like a little funky little finger extender thing. And there's different levels. So you just throw it on your hands, do a whole bunch of reps, really good. Strengthens really, really well, forearms, etc. And then of course there is the other side of it, which is the squeeze. That's for the other part of the forearm. Excellent. This is what I recommend for shot power. If you are struggling with your shot, your wrist motion both of those ways are what gives you the snap in your wrist when you're doing quick snapshots. So I do this two or three times a week at night, just chilling on the couch, just sitting there doing my grip strength training. It's excellent. This is an excellent product. I highly recommend it because it's really easy to commit to. So if you want a better shot, you want to be able to hold your stick better, stick handling in terms of uh, strength, this is the way to go. I'll put the little uh, picture up, you guys see what it is.
So for the last two years, gyms have been closed and one way around that I have found is of course at home training. Um, so I do two things at home and I still have a gym membership and I love to strength train and I'll get into that after. But the biggest thing for me is being able to train at home with some intensity. Most people can't train at home, keep the intensity up, etc. They build some little program, watch a YouTube video. It doesn't really go anywhere. So for me, the number one uh, fitness kind of company that I like to follow is Beachbody. Now you might be like, Beachbody, that sounds kind of familiar. Is that like P90X? Maybe you've done it. Maybe you've seen the stupid commercials. Maybe you've even seen a Beachbody coach, good God. The P90X and all that stuff is Beachbody, but their Beachbody on demand is amazing. And it's a membership I've had for years and years. Love doing it. It's one of my favorite things ever. Throw it on my TV at home. I'll show you guys a quick bit of that. Do it up in my living room, 20 minutes, in shape, good to go. So I'm just gonna whip through uh, Beachbody and the programs that I do, and I'm kind of an intense guy, so I really follow all the insanity stuff. That stuff's excellent. I dabble in some P90X as well. All those types of programs, they're excellent. So I'll just whip through them real quick, and you'll see what they are. I'm probably catching a bunch of people off guard to be like, wow, this guy does beach body programs. Uh, I thought it was such a fringe, you know, pyramid scheme type of thing, but it worked so good with COVID over the last couple of years because once the gyms closed and stuff, originally I went back to this, I did it years and years ago. And with the on demand now at $130 a year, uh, that's like what, 16, 17 bucks a month. It's like nothing uh, in relation to gym memberships and some other things that I do. So this is perfectly affordable for anybody starting out or somebody who has a really high level of fitness and wants to do all sorts of stuff. Their programs are all over the place. They're for women, they're for men, they're for kids, they're for beginners, they're for advanced. It's just perfect for at-home COVID-style training. So I highly recommend it. Uh, I jump into mostly like the Insanities and the P9X is the more intense stuff, but I also get into yoga because I really need to be flexible with my disorder. And it's just something that I'm really on top of and I love these programs. So there's so many of them guys and it's definitely worth checking out. It's one of my highest recommendations that's not a hockey product. And I just want people to know that it's super easy to get into. Just avoid the beach body coaches and that pyramid scheme style stuff. They're, they're just annoying. Just uh, get out of that aspect of it, but just get the on demand and you'll love it. As COVID kind of whips through again, I'm telling you guys, this is the best way to train at home. I went to like uh, a hardware store, got like five or six bands because I don't want to buy an entire gym for my house. And now I just rock some bands with some P90X style stuff. It's workouts done. It's the way to go. I just go sit back on the couch and relax. You got to love the COVID style quarantine training. So in the at home fitness theme, again, uh, the one thing that I used to love doing at the gym is getting on the bike and riding. And the one thing, of course, that's been happening over the last few years is the gym keeps closing. So I decided to just finance a Peloton. And a lot of people be like, oh my God, like I can't afford that and all that. I totally get it. So if you can't, I still recommend spinning because 100% it's with your legs. You can crank up the resistance. Really helps for hockey. Get that leg strength going. And of course, the endurance for huge bursts skating for 20, 30 seconds is excellent with like a Peloton or a spin bike. Uh, the reason I like a Peloton is because I can literally just ride it in my living room, as you'll see, watch TV, 25, 30 minutes has gone by, I'm done for the day, don't even have to worry about it, and it went by super fast. So, love the Peloton, it's definitely a good investment, and in this day and age, you never know when the gyms are gonna close, so I hit up a Peloton, I'm good to go, I don't have to worry about the gyms being closed. Hopefully they open here soon. So you might be going like, holy cow, this guy's into fitness, he does a lot of stuff. But I spread all this out over a schedule, of course, I dabble in a little bit of the Peloton, get to the gym a couple times a week for weights when it's open, uh, do my beach body, do my grip training, all that type of stuff so I can stay at the top of my game for beer league. Uh, but the final thing that I do when the gym is open is strength training. And there's millions of programs for strength training. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, how to do it, that's not what I am. I'm just telling you how I do it. So a long, long time ago when I was younger, uh, I ran into somebody whose name is Greg O'Gallagher, and he's kind of a little bit over the top, you know, young kid, millionaire, all that type of stuff, but his programs are excellent. So I will post a picture of his website, you guys can check it out. 
Uh, sometimes they go on sale like 47 bucks or something like that. Uh, been doing this program for a long time and they're all focused on strength and very quick. So you're talking about like, you know, do a bench press, do an overhead press, do some pull-ups, do that type of stuff. Very specific training methods and it's how you can stay uh, strong and in shape without investing a whole bunch of time in the gym. And of course it can done with minimal equipment. You don't got your bench in the garage or something, you're good to go. You're, you can do these types of things. So for me, my entire fitness program, what I do off ice has nothing to do with what happens on the ice. I don't train stick handling. I don't train shooting. I don't do any of that. I don't skate. I don't do any of it because at the end of the day, we are beer, beer leaguers and it'd be awesome to get better and better and better at hockey. But where's that going to go for me as a 38 year old who plays just men's league, right? For me, I'm a good enough hockey player as weird as that might sound, but keeping my health, my fitness, my strength in check is the most important. And I'm also recommending that you guys do it as well because you'll feel so much better on the ice. You'll have better results. You know, you score more goals. You'll feel like you're contributing to your team more and you kind of become that ironic beer league bum where, you know, maybe you were a little bit of a liability and now you're helping out the team more. So, it's just how I kind of roll guys, that's what I do, and it's how I do things. So that's uh, pretty much everything I do for fitness, and it's all off ice, and it's all not related 100% to hockey specific training, just getting healthy. Um, I wish you guys luck, it's the new year, give it a go. I know it's hard to commit to those New Year's resolutions, but from a beer league bum hockey review, I wish you all the best in your health and trying to get through that. Get as strong as you can, get as fast as you can, maybe you'll score some goals, Hope you guys have a great one. Talk to you guys in the next video. Here's the site guys, uh, Kino Body. Again, I'm not affiliated with any of this. I don't get anything from this. This is just stuff I've discovered that I love and I use for my training. Um, check it out if you like. If you don't, of course, there's lots of stuff out there and good luck. I hope you guys find something that you enjoy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I actually just wanted to send you over to my personal YouTube. I've uh, never built it or anything like that, but I did post a video about when I broke my ankle and the fitness journey I took. Um, so I'm going to link that and I'll send you guys over there. Uh, if you can, just check it out. Uh, it's when I broke my ankle in 2019, how fast I was able to get back from hockey. And I'm hoping that maybe it expire, um, inspires people because it's the New Year's and you can try something new and try a new program. So check that out. I'm going to link it and good luck guys.